Hi. Today, let's draw this vector character together. It's not hard at all. I'll guide you step by step, nice and slow, starting from the simple parts and building up from there. Okay. Once the sketch is ready, use the path brush tool for your lines. In the settings, choose pressure. Just draw like usual. Only the solid style can expand the stroke into a shape. For the textured intensity brush, you'll need to use image trace to turn it into a vector shape first. It's a new feature under the vector menu. But honestly, do you really need it? Lines can touch each other. Hold Ctrl to fix lines, or use the node tool. Don't worry draw them overlapping, we'll clean up later. I say just draw and fix as you go, it's fine. But I'll try to show you what happens when they overlap while coloring. When you're making vector art like this, it only makes sense for certain types of work. It works best for characters with simple lines and not too many details. Want super smooth lines? Just draw vector lines, then rasterize, turn your vector lines into pixels. And like I've said before, why vector? Because it's easy to edit, easy to recolor, and you can add textures to your lines. Next, coloring. First, select all strokes. Right click. Choose expand stroke. Now each line becomes a vector shape. Control plus G to group. Use the vector flood fill tool to color. Set your fill mode to knockout. Drop the color in, it'll fill the whole area. Just don't forget, before you expand the stroke, make sure all your shapes are closed with no gaps. I checked and there were still some open spots. Use the node tool and nudge the line so they touch. Wherever there's extra overlap, just fill over it. Why do we expand stroke? Mainly to close the gaps between curve lines. It might look like the lines are all touching, but actually, in vector mode, the important thing is that the start and end nodes of each line need to snap to other lines to create a fully closed area. That's why we use expand stroke instead of manually snapping. If you don't want to worry about this, just draw overlap the lines and trim the extra parts later. This way, you don't need to expand stroke. Next step will be merging with Boolean. Okay, select areas with the same color in the layer panel or go to the layer menu up top, choose select, same, fill color, or just click to select it in the layers panel. Then click Add Boolean to merge. Do this gradually for ink shapes, skin color shapes, hair, clothes. Actually, merging isn't required. You can export as long as it's in one group. But merging keeps it neat, easy to recolor, and doesn't make the layers messy. Select Same Fill Color. If you want a shortcut for it, you can set one in Edit Menu, Settings, Shortcuts. I map mine to Alt plus G. If you don't merge everything into one clean shape, you won't be able to add shadows properly. OK. Add details like shadows and highlights. Quick reminder, select the shape, click insert inside the selection icon at the top, or shift plus I, then draw your shadow inside. If you don't need pure vector, just group all your color layers, rasterize them, and add shadows and highlights using blending modes. Shadows on multiply, highlights on overlay. At the start I said we're doing a fully vector character, so the shadows for vector work are usually built with several layers of lighter and darker colors stacked on top. But for this character, 
two layers are more than enough. Vector work is a bit like pixel drawing. If you like that pixel coloring style, you can use the pencil tool strokes or the solid path brush to fill in color, both can expand the stroke, or just use the vector flood fill tool on your shapes. Okay, all done. Now we have a high quality vector piece. You can scale it, make stickers, print it, no problem. Just follow the steps and give it a try. If you have any ideas for what I should draw or try next, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe or support the channel, it really means a lot. For newcomers, check out the Affinity by Canva for drawing series, all 10 videos. It covers everything from setting up the interface to finishing a drawing, with lots of coloring methods. If you want quality vector art that scales perfectly, it just takes a few steps. We can have fun drawing together by yourself. Thanks for watching.